Thanks for joining me on this video. I thought I'd take some time out of the dog walk today to retry a Swiss Volcano Exurplus stove. I'm using it as a twig stove today. I've only used it once before from brand new. And I didn't have much joy with it. I found it really smoky and it, it didn't work particularly great. So I thought I'd come out while I've got a chance, while everything's still a little bit dry, and give it a go. I'll show you a little bit of the stove. It comes with an aluminium body, which is the volcano part, an aluminium cup, and an aluminium flask water bottle. It has a stopper on the top, it's cork, quite retro. I'm assuming that'll perish at some point, but it's pretty good at the minute. I've used it at work a few times as a little bit of a flask, it works all right. I remember right the last time I used it, what I thought about doing was making the hole big around the bottom so we could get more of a draw through and put more fuel in. I've used it with the alcohol stove as well, but it tends to get the alcohol too hot and it burns too quick and it almost melts the aluminium. Not short sure of uh, dry bits of wood around here, so it's pretty good. It's boiled, we'll make a quick brew. Yorkshire tea. There's no substitute. And I'd argue with anybody that says there is. It has got a good advantage. You can pick it up and move it around. Nice and contained. cup stays relatively hot so I perhaps wouldn't advise it as a, uh, a drinking vessel. I suppose there's a little bit of a story behind when I uh, picked this stove up. Beginning of the year I fell down the stairs 2021 and I fractured my vertebrae in my back and I was just zooming around on the internet looking at surplus bits and bobs, twig stoves, always love fires I think most blokes do. And uh, I saw a couple of videos, a couple of Instagram posts about one of these stoves. So I thought I'd pick it up, so I went and had a look at how much it was. And unbeknownst to me, I clicked on the price and accidentally ordered it and got a notification 
through Face ID on the iPhone that I'd purchased it. So this is how I ended up with it. Well, that's what I told the wife anyway. Hot. When you turn the, the mug upside down to put it on, you're gonna end up with some soot marks. So you really need something to put it in. So what I might do is create like a canvas bag that I can draw string it up before I get it home and sort it out. But after a while, you obviously build up a nice bit of patina. I hope this quick look at the Swiss stove has been useful for you. We'll pack up and get on with the dog walk. We'll leave no trace. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.